say that and I really hope that you have had a good week but it's the weekend it's Sunday it's time to relax a bit of family time maybe a bit of homework that you've got to do but once you've done all that you can have a bit of you time can't you and this week we're going to be making a unicorn's best friend so we've made the unicorns before so there is a video for those so pop those to the side and we've got a narwhal now my daughter Ruby is absolutely in love with narwhals Mr Narwhal look at that one beautiful and a baby one there as well so we're going to make the big one this is going to go on top of a cake or a cupcake and you can do them any different colours as well um, and I'll show you how to make every step by step for that one it's going to be really good fun and remember prize if you send me a picture of what you've done there's a prize I'm going to pick the best trier so it doesn't have to look the best remember that it's not about how perfect it is at the end it's about your journey about getting there isn't it so prize for the best uh, trier so send me some pickies um, and then you get a little loom band as well so are we ready to have some fun with a narwhal I think we are here we go okay so are we ready to make the narwhal Mr Narwhal what colour should I go for oh it's got to be that one isn't it and that one actually I'm having two today beautiful made by Ruby thank you Rue there we go Right, I'm ready to make Mr. Narwhal. So we've got blue, black, white, and a cocktail stick. Let's go. Let's get our hands nice and warm and ready. We're gonna give our blue a squidge. You can do this any color. I've actually made a gray one before, and that was really nice. You could do a pink one, a white one, do a family of them. How lovely would that be? That'd be very, very sweet. So once we've given it a good squidge, it's nice and soft. We've warmed our hands up. We want to give it a nice roll into a ball if we can. So in between our fingers there and in the palm of our hands, we're going to give it a nice roll. Okay. Now what I forgot to do is pinch a bit off. So before you start that rolling, pinch a bit off. So let's continue to roll. Always forget something. Silly, silly. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to get a nice round shape. We also want to make the back flip up slightly. So we're going to do see for cake finger. We're just going to push our see for cake finger in there. Okay, so we're keeping this a lovely round shape. We're just trying to keep it nice and smooth, so keep giving it a rub. And can you see what we've done there? Also, made, looks like we've made a clog, doesn't it? But we've got the nice round bit, and then we're trying to flatten it out. And this is actually going to be where the back of the narwhal goes. So what we want to do is just try and thin it out. Now, using a knife, cut just in the middle there, like that, okay? And then soften where you've cut. You want to just soften that so it's not looking so harsh. Okay, we've got that bit there. There we go. Just going to thin, thin those out slightly. Okay, so nice and up, and then we can come back to those if we want to in a minute. So we've got a nice rounded face, like that, and then we've got the flick of the tail at the back there. Flick, flick. Right, now let's go on to the head of this beauty. So with our nice round face, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the black, and I'm going to give us some beautiful eyes. So in a circle, see for cake finger, roly roly. Okay, and this is going to make two. I'm going to pop that on the board, cut that one in half. Get somebody to help you if you need to, because it's quite a sharp knife that we're using there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I can show you, we're going to pop. Pop the eye on like that. 
Okay, and we're going to give it a flick. So if I do, so you're going to bend it, and then you almost want to just flick the outside. Now, if this becomes too difficult, just keep it into a circle like that, half a circle. Or if you can, try and flick the end out. But sometimes it's a little bit of a pain. So let's try that again. The other pain is getting them to look the same. That's the other thing. Okay, so. So there we go, make sure we haven't lost our shape. Okay. Eyes on. And then just make sure we've got a beautiful smile there. So nice up at the ends. Beautiful smile, look at that. Okay, I'm going to use uh, a tool. You can use a straw, whatever else you can find. We just want to put just a small hole in the top. Okay, there. Fabulous. Let's do the sides. So you want to get two balls the same size. So I always like to roll one, keep it in my hand, and then roll the other. And then I can see, yeah, pretty much the same shape. So take one, it's in a circle, get your C for cape fingers, and just push it down like that. And take that one off. So push it down like that. Okay, and then we're going to attach those to the sides. You might need a little bit of water for that. I think I am on the back there. A bit of water on the back. There we go. Fabulous. And then we're going to need our cocktail stick in our white. So any colour you want to go for. So into a circle and then into a sausage. Okay. Make your points at the end so you've got it like that. And then pop your cocktail stick in. Again, be really careful, sharp cocktail stick. And then I'm going to use my knife just to make some marks in here. So I'm going to keep my knife straight and I'm going to turn. Can you see that's made some nice lines in there? Okay. And then in that goes. Now you might need to take that white off and put the stick in and then put that back on because you might find that it doesn't it doesn't want to go on Let's put that there and there is your very beautiful Mr Narwhal so very simple very beautiful well done